DMX Motion is a system of blueprints that enable changing character animations and animation rate speeds from any DMX lighting console. This video shows how to use DMX Motion. If you have not seen the overview video before, you can find the link in the description. Before using DMX Motion, you have to enable and configure the DMX plugin. To enable it, go to Edit, Plugins, search for DMX, and select DMX Engine and DMX Protocol plugins. Restart if necessary. Open Project Settings and find the DMX plugin. Create an input port. Select a protocol, an IP address, compatible with your DMX console network settings. If using ArtNet, you may need to change extern universe start to zero, since the first universe for most lighting consoles is zero. Add three new attributes to the fixture attribute list, blend space X, blend space Y, and speed. Blend space X and blend space Y attributes will be used to control the horizontal and vertical axes of your blend space, while speed attribute will be used to control the global animation rate of your skeletal mesh. We will talk more about these attributes later in this video. Next, create an DMX library. Open it and add new fixture type. You can call it DMX Motion. You can import fixture data from the GDTF file provided with this asset. Add the newly created fixture to the fixture patch and save. Now, you are ready to start using DMX Motion Asset. First, make a blend space for the skeletal mesh you want to control. Since we will use an Unreal Engine 4 mannequin in this example, name it BS Mannequin. Find animations for the skeletal mesh you want to control using the DMX console, and add them to the blend space. Rename the horizontal axis of the created blend space to Blend Space X, and the vertical axis to Blend Space Y. Save. Go to the DMX Motion folder, and duplicate the DMX SK Actor Blueprint. Rename it to DMX Mannequin. Make an animation blueprint for your skeletal mesh. You can call it ABP Mannequin. Add two float variables, named Blend Space X and Blend Space Y. In the Anim graph, create a new state machine and a new state to control your blend space using Blend Space X and Blend Space Y variables. Open a sample animation blueprint named ABP Sample, copy all nodes from the event graph and paste them into the event graph of your animation blueprint. Change the actor class from DMX Dummy to the class of the actor you want to control. In this example, DMX Mannequin. Delete and recreate Get Blend Space X and Get Blend Space Y nodes and connect them appropriately. Compile and save. For animating metahumans, follow the same steps, but use DMX MH actor instead of DMX SK actor and rename it accordingly. For example, DMX Lena. 
open it, and change the actor class from DMX dummy to the actual metahuman class, in this case BP Lena. It is necessary for controlling the animation rate of metahuman characters. Delete and recreate a reference to the body component of a metahuman actor. Compile and save. Select animation blueprint for your skeletal mesh. In the case of metahumans, you must select body before selecting animation blueprint. Insert the DMX mannequin blueprint into the level. Patch the DMX mannequin actor to the appropriate DMX library and fixture patch. Use the picker to connect the blueprint to the skeletal mesh actor you wish to control. Now, you can control character animation from the DMX console. For animation to play at normal speed, the speed parameter on channel 3 should be at 50% or DMX 128. The blend space X parameter on channel 1 and the blend space Y parameter on channel 2 control the horizontal and vertical axis values of a blend space. GDTF file and also an XML personality file for Grandma 2 or .2 consoles can be downloaded using the links in the description.